When it comes to operating your vehicle in your caravan or your camper trailer out on the road, there's a certain amount of etiquette that needs to be observed. You're now mixing it with other vehicles such as trucks, cars, even motorbikes. So you need to be observant as to where they are in position in relation to you. And that's where having a good set of extendable mirrors comes in very handy. It means that you are not going to be surprised by a truck that's about to overtake you or any other traffic that's going to do the same manoeuvre. When it comes to having a truck overtake you, it means that you can be prepared and move over in your lane, move left in your lane so that you're running the car and the caravan or the trailer down along the fog line. This is going to create space or what we call a buffer zone between you and the overtaking truck, like the one that's going past me now. So the air that's coming off the front of that truck is not disturbing the caravan or the car as much as if we were travelling closer to the centre line. One of the things that we need to take into account is our travelling distance behind a vehicle ahead of us. It's not so much a matter of etiquette, but definitely a matter of safety. We know from all the driver training videos that we've seen over the years that a car doing 60 kilometres an hour takes about 16 metres to stop. That's from the time that the brakes are applied to the time the vehicle comes to a complete stop. What that doesn't do is it doesn't take into account the reaction time which is around about one and a half seconds for a normal adult. At 60 kilometres an hour, you travel 25 metres before you can actually put your foot on the brake. That's how long it takes to react. When we add the braking distance to our reaction time, that's 41 metres in total at 60 kilometres an hour. That's almost the length of an Olympic swimming pool. Now it's really difficult to judge distance when you're travelling out on the road, but it's very easy to judge time. A normal car travelling at 60 k's an hour, you would have about three second gap. And that works very nicely all the way up to about 100 k's an hour. That three second gap works really well. But when you've got a caravan on board or a trailer on board, it means that that gap should open up to no less than five seconds. When the vehicle ahead of you passes an object on the road, you count 1001, 1002, all the way up to 1005. If you get to that object before you get to 1005, you're sitting too close and you need to back off. Trailer sway can happen for a variety of reasons. Poorly loaded caravan, possibly a flat tyre or a truck overtaking and that vortex of air coming off the front of the truck actually upsetting the caravan and vehicle. There's a truck coming up to overtake me now so I'm going to move over to the left. I'm not slowing down until he's alongside me. Now I'm just going to reach down, wind off the brake controller for the trailer, apply a little bit of brake as he goes past and then that will hold the whole system, caravan and car, in a nice straight line. It stretches it all out. Once he's overtaken and he's clear, I can bring the brake controller back up to what it was and continue on my way.